Hey, folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. I think what I'll do is I'll make a blueprint so that we can... Or just maybe just a copy and paste so that we can start using the poles like that on them. Actually, that'd be... That's a fairly good idea. We'll do that as a blueprint. Alright, if I do it like that, there, and then you just get rid of those, and all I've got is those right there. So I can simply do that, and I can do here, um, robot power, there. Right, now I've got a blueprint I can come along, and I can use that blueprint to put down exactly where I'm going to want all power for these robots from this point on. So I can drop that down over to there like that. And they're powering them on, which is very quick. There we go. We've now got power gone all the way through. And put that over to there. And that bridges both sides of it. Keeps it nice and clean. And it bridges both sides with power. So we're never going to have any real shortages. That's kind of the, that's the main beauty of it. Is that the lack of shortages that we're going to end up with. So there's everything up to there. Now I want to take this and I want to make that a little bit bigger like that. So that we've got a double thing like we've done over the other side, remember? And I'll bring that to there. And I'll run all the way over here like this. So there's a load of hazard concrete there. I've got, I've still got several. Right, that's good. I'll run back over this side and... Oops. Went the wrong way there. Hazard concrete all the way down there like that. On this side, on the inside, I'm actually going to do a bigger run of hazard concrete. Bigger than what we've got right now. Now, if I start... like, I just suddenly had a big whack of red circuits turn up. Oh, it's because they were chasing me with them. That's all. They were just chasing me with them. I'll make more of these. So that I've got more RoboPorts. But the next thing that we need to do... Actually, one of the next things I need to do is I want to get some more concrete down. So I will go like that, and then we'll go into the map. And I'm going to start placing some concrete down here. I should have done this before I put down that hazard concrete. It would have been easier. And then I could have put the hazard concrete over the top of it. So I'll do it like this. There. And I go up to the edge of that stripe like that. And then I will come down over here. And I will concrete in a load of this down here. And we'll just simply just do it in stripes like that. It's a nice easy way of doing that. And another little bit down there. Right, the rest of it can stay for a minute. I'm not going to worry about that. I will maybe drop a little bit more up there, like that. Uh, is there any more that I want to put down? We could put some more over here. Like that. Ooh, did I just... I went over the hazard concrete up here. I didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to my hazard concrete and put that down. And I run that over there. Oh, wait a minute. Do I need to press shift? Yes. Oops. I went too far on it. Uh, or I could just right click on this. I don't know how to cancel blueprint. I'm going to have to go back and redo that. I've made a, made a little bit of a mistake on that. I didn't want to do... Didn't want to make a mistake like that, but it's done. So we'll have to go back and just redo the hazard concrete on that section a little bit later. Um, I just need to make sure that I put the concrete down first. And then we can put the hazard stuff over the top. So there's just concrete in underneath all of this. All the way down here. So that then if I do want to put some hazard down, I can put it down afterwards. There. I'll fill in all the way out to the edge here. Like that. And fill in that. 
Oh, it's not going to... I, I, I've got to press and hold shift. That's what I wasn't doing. I wonder why it wasn't coming out. It's because I wasn't pressing and holding shift. Okay, that bit down there doesn't matter. This bit here is doing just fine. And so is most of the rest of it. Just got to finish that bit up to there. Now, what about you? I'll do that. There, just to stay off the edge of the hazard concrete that I've put down already. There. Right, that should keep that out of mischief for a little bit. We've got plenty of these coming in and charging up, and they are putting down a huge swath of concrete all the way round. And they're doing a good job of it too. All right, don't get me wrong, they're doing a grand job of it. I'm very pleased with this. I'm very pleased with their work, with their efforts. It may take them a minute or two, but they do seem to be doing a very good job of it. And I've got 3,000 of those left. Does that mean i got no concrete? Have I just gone and used it all up? It doesn't look like I don't have any negative numbers for concrete. You normally get negative. The reason you get negative numbers is because you get one item come out, and then you get two robots immediately go for it, and so it will then say it's got minus one, because both robots are not able to go and pick one up, and then it doesn't like it. I've got 3,600 logistics robots in storage at the moment. Oh, i got 10,000 concrete up there. Uh, I need to get those logistics bots out of storage and into the air again. We've got 10,000 of them. No. Can't have, we better not have 10,000 of them. A thou uh, what was it? A thousand. Three, three thousand. Three thousand logistics robots. Uh, if I look here, nine, nine, four, six. That's, I should have. Yes, I've got the extra ones here. Right, there's the construction robots gone. We've got ten thousand of those have gone over. That's good. So I'll get rid of that a minute and then I'll go into here and I will set a demand for these and I'm going to request 1,000 logistics robots. There go those. Where are they going? They're coming... Oh, they're going for concrete. They're heading in a dead straight line for concrete and I got all 10,000 robots now flying. But look how quickly they are placing this stuff down. Like, see how quick that pattern is changing there on the screen? They are really, really good at this. And yeah, it's slightly annoying that they've gone and picked up my hazard concrete over here, but we'll have to do something else about that. I'm wondering if I should change it to hazard underneath where all the roboports are. So we've got wider stripes. It makes it a little easier to see. Cannot insert logistics robot. Inventory is full. Uh, I need to get rid of the map. All right, come over to here and go like this. Right, this is going to take a while. We've got all of these that I've got in my bags. you just got to keep doing it in circles. If you stand still like that, you can't do anything. So you've got to keep circling them round. Now that's all of them already. So now I've got to wait for the logistics robots to bring me over the next lot. They're on their way already. If I go over a little bit closer to it, if I go, if I stand here... And start doing this. They're going to bring them back to me. Hopefully at roughly the rate that I'm dumping them out of my bags. And there come the next lot. Yes. <laughs> okay, they are. They're bringing them to me at nearly the same rate that I'm dumping them out of my bags. That means we're going to get all 3,600 of these dumped away. I can't reach over there. Uh, how many have I got left? 900. Just, I just need to keep going. I'm just going to do this. I'm not cutting this bit out, by the way. Just so that you can listen to it and see it. This hypnotic kind of buzz. And there we go. That was, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. I got 15 right there. How many have I got left in storage? Have I got any? There's only going to be a few if there is. I don't think there's any. There's nothing down here by the look of it. No, I don't think we've got any of those in storage now. This is 1,000. I've got 15 on me. Get rid of them. That was amazing. That was, 
<laughs> that was absolutely amazing. It really was. I like that. Okay, we want to head back over here. And you know what? Before I do that, I want to just go and correct this because otherwise I'm going to forget about it. And I go back over this side and I just want to correct the little error that we've got with this. That needs to go over to there. And I want to come on to the underside under here. And I want to correct that under there. I've got a bit in here that shouldn't really be there. I want that to be regular concrete under there. At least for now. I haven't 100% decided what I'm going to do with that. So I may end up doing something different. There is another thing that I do want to do is fill in this little gap. It's not that it's needed. It's just that I like it. It's definitely not needed. I just think it would be a good idea to have it. So I'll put that into there and then I'll put... Another one there and another one over there so that I've got a little bit of redundancy on that. That's going to work well. We've got loads of stone still coming in and we've got plenty of iron ore coming in. The copper is stopped for a minute because we've got absolutely no copper anywhere in the factory. And I'd like to bet that we've got no copper plates either. They're all stopped, every single one. So now we want to go to this one. We want to start the copper smelting. So what did I do over the other side? I placed it down, and then I manually added in one extra. Didn't I? So I did it. I, ma I went in like that, and I manually added in one extra thingamajig on the end. Um, one of the... The thing, the, the, the thing about who's it's. So if I physically go and drop one of those down now on that end, where are they? No. Where are they gone? I don't have any here. I could have sworn I'd have some of them. I must have gone and used one up. Right, well, in which case I will have to manufacture one, just a minute. We want to go here. Beacon, that's the word I'm looking for. If I just make a beacon very quickly, and then I can drop one down in that corner up there, and we'll be able to start using that as then the the main, sort of, the, the rest of the sequence, and we can start expanding all of this out. Then we can go back, and we can start working on that. So I want to go to this bit right here. There's my beacon. And you are going to drop down right on that corner there. That's the first point. And then I will take the copper over here. And that one's going to come out onto there like that. That's where the rest of it is going to run. And then I can simply tag them up against each other. Except I'm going to bring that across by one like that. And then it will overlap better. So put you onto there. Overlap that by one. Like that. Same on there. And there. And then on this side, this is where it's sort of going to get. So I'm not going to go any further than that for a minute because, see, we've got every, we've, we've got all these things flying around. Now, I got a, I got three lines of furnaces for my build. So I will do the same here. I will put three lines of furnaces. There is the third line down there, like that. And I'm simply going to go through, and I'm going to... Oops. Beacon Ghost is in the way there. Don't press Shift while you're putting down something like this. It's too important to be pressing Shift and making mistakes, because you will mess up something. So tempting though it is, never press Shift. Make sure that you get everything lined up exactly right. There, that wants to go up there. I was nearly wrong on that one, wasn't I? And then the beacon in there. Right. There's that bit done. All the way through. We'll do the other end of it a little bit later. And here come the robots. Look at those bad boys move. Now, I've got ten of my own robots right here at the moment. I'm going to make another eight right there. They give me 18 of these. And I'm going to put them down and run them along there. So I've got ten of them have gone in there straight away. That's already gone and gathered up a load of these. 
we've now got the furnaces up and running. They're going to start coming up and instantly the all the logistics robots are now being used. We've got every single one in action right now. And I've also got all of the beacons have been placed down. We had enough to put all the beacons in. I haven't got enough for all of the modules to go in on here, but that's fine. That's not going to be a major hardship for us at all. We can bring those in a little bit later. So I uh, don't have anything else to go in there at the moment because we've got, like, the copper has been starved out of the factory. Because copper has been starved out, we've got to wait for a minute for it to catch up. And look at all of these robots. I love watching the robots. And if you're in here, it does keep flashing up with the thing for the robot. But if you move your cursor off down into the corner like that, you can just admire the robots flying. Thousands upon thousands upon thousands of robots all flying and bringing in all the goodies. Now, these chests here, each one is demanding a thousand copper ore. So it will take a minute or two to fill them all up, but once they're filled, then it's just a case of maintaining them and keeping them topped up. And it's a lot easier for them to keep them topped up. Now, why a thousand? I did talk about this a little bit before, so it's a big, big buffer if you've got a thousand of them. But why would I need such a massive buffer on my ores and stuff? Well, the main reason is um, when your logistics robots reach a, when, when you get a point like right now where I don't have, I've got all of them flying and they're not able to immediately get to everything sometimes those chests can get down to just one or two hundred pieces of ore left in them because they'll prioritize some jobs over others so there may be a huge demand for um, the copper going everywhere so they may be suddenly getting a load of copper out and dealing with that and not actually bringing in the ores themselves so by doing it like that, it, it does allow for a, a large amount of um, leeway on it. And also, if I don't have trains running on the stations for a while, then I instead do it like this, where I've got um, robots flying out to go and gather items from a long way away, then they'll also use that. And th they'll spend quite a bit of time going all the way out to get the stuff and then coming all the way back and... Um, if the chest says, I need 10, and you've got 10 robots over here with it, and they're flying all the way back, it's going to take a long time for them to get all the way back over here, and then put those 10 in. And then no other robots are going to come and bring any other stuff in. So if you've got 1,000, I can have 700 robots on the way back over with the ore for one chest. And I've still got 300 pieces of ore in the chest that are able to be used. So it doesn't cause me any problems. That's why I do it like that. Now, I want to go to copy in here, and I want to copy that one like that. And I've got one right there, which I'm going to remove in a minute. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there, and I'm going to put one there like that. And then I'm going to come out of the map section like this. I'm going to run over here. Going to remove that one there, and then I'm going to paste down in that corner as well, so that I've got the request for the speed modules to go into there. So we got a lot of modules waiting for now. That's our next big thing, is we got loads and loads of modules that I'm waiting for. I can put some more rubber ports underneath, like I've done over on the other side. I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, I suppose I could. How did I set it up over on this side? I ran them. Directly in line, two away. Uh, uh, if I make eight roboports a minute, I'll put a couple down just on the outside edge of it, over here. The other thing I want to do is I want to make some more hazard concrete. I can make six lots of hazard concrete, which is probably not going to be enough. There. But that's because that's of the concrete that I've got on me. So if I go like that there and that line... We'll run all the way down through there like that. And then I've got a few more of them to do in a minute. i got these roboports right here. And now these ones here. So I don't want to be up there. I want to leave a gap. And then I want to come down one more, I think. Is that where I want it? Yes. That's where I want that roboport there. So I've got a gap of one. It should be exactly in line with that one over there. So if I go here like this, 
I should run right over and be on the same exact spot on that roboport as I hit over this side. Yes, it's got a gap of one all the way along there, and then I'll do the same underneath. Right. That's good. So then I'll put another one there underneath, like that. And then I will take up the hazard concrete that we got over here. I can make a few more of those. I can swap them over like that. And run that lot all the way along over to there like that. And I can run that one up that far. I can't go any further than that. And that's picked me up a load of concrete here so I can swap over another five of those. Give me a few more hazard concretes, which I'll put up to there. So I'm not going to do that any further than that. And I'm not going to put any more roboports down just for a minute. I'm going to leave them where they are. And now everything is flying again and the logistics robots are going back. They're not doing anything for a minute. This is now getting back up and running again. And we're ready for our next section. So the next bit that we're going to want to do is this robot highway. I actually want that to start expanding northwards. It's got to go up a long way. Uh, we could also start working on the steel, but I'm not going to do that yet. We've got a whole load of those over there. I'm not actually ready to start working on that. I'm going to dump those speed modules there because that's going to go up into this lot and it's just going to help the production of all of these. Let's have a look in here. All of these are waiting on red circuits, right? The module production is now mostly waiting on the red and green circuits. And those up there, but then those are waiting on red and green circuits as well. So we're waiting on red and greens. So we're going to want a perfect build for red and greens. That's going to be the next big thing that we're going to want to have. We want to make sure that we've got this absolutely spot on correct with no mistakes anywhere. So what I'm going to do first before I do anything else is... Right, there's three of them in there. I'm going to take some of these out. That one's making a minute. Have an eye on that one. I take you out. Seven of them. I take those four out. You're making as well. I got two of them making. Take those three. Those four. So I got several. I've got a few of these busy making at the moment. That was nearly halfway through. And so is that one. I'm just going to wait for these because then I'm going to grab them. As soon as they're made, I'm going to grab those. I want them. I'm going to be using them. I've got plans. Big, important plans that are going to require level 3 speed modules. And we're going to need some level 3 productivity modules as well, as soon as those are ready. Right, you're about to come out. So I have my control button ready. There. Right. Did I get... I didn't get it! You got it before I did. you got to be mighty fast before... <laughs> oh, he brought it back to me. That was very good. Why did he go... He, he went up there and then he brought it back to me. I got two so far. That's all I've got. It's, but if I stand here, they should bring them to me. I'm also going to use those speed modules there to make my own. That was the plan. That's why That's why I've been half inching them. I go like that and I make my own right... Wow. To make five, I need to make 28 small ones, seven mediums, and then I can make the five big ones. And... Those there take 15 seconds each, those take 30 seconds each, and those take a minute each. A full minute for each one. I'm not waiting for that long. I'm not even waiting that long. I'm just going to do it like that. There. One of those spare and three of them spare. Yeah, I'll, I'll let those make at a minute of time. I didn't realize it was that long. I had no idea. Oh, there's one in here. Takes so long to make them in here, look. So that one there, it, it gets made. And this is the main problem, is that we're waiting on the red circuits to come in. So if I take some red circuits and drop it in now, that one at least is going to start making. And it comes along pretty quick because I got the level 2 speed modules in it. I filled it up with level 2 speed modules. So I'm thinking maybe I should do the same up here. I dump in a load of level 2 speed modules. That might help. I'm not going to, though. I've got no intention of doing that. So how many do you require? You require five. So if I put 100 in there, and I put 100 in there, 
And then I go over here and I put in 100. And I go over to there and I put in 100 as well. That's going to at least keep those ticking over. And then I've already got the 50s up there. So I just kind of need to... They'll then start sort of going up through. And maybe we can get a few more of those speed modules there. These are the ones that I'm going to want. I got a few of them being made. I'm going to get a couple stacks of beacons up here. And our biggest problem is going to be getting the beacons and everything working properly how I want them. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to steal these productivity modules. Like this. Ah. Let's turn my robots off a minute. And we're gonna have to we're gonna have to remember that we've stolen productivity modules off the top here, like that. Right, there's four. And I'm gonna need a lot of these. Right, I'm really gonna need a lot of these to make this like to get all of this set up properly, I'm gonna need a huge number of these modules. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna get at least thirty of these modules if we can. And I'm simply gonna have to go back through and put them all back in again after we're done. I mean, once we are done, it's going to be an entirely different kettle of fish. Entirely different. Because, right, there's all of that lot. Uh, there's one down. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not going to take any more. That'll do for a minute. Right, the 26. 26 is probably enough. I've got speed modules as well, which we're going to be wanting to use. Uh, we won't be using all that many, I don't think. How many have I got? I got 26... Ah, oh, no! I had those speed modules, and then they went and took them away from me, didn't they? Of course they did. I should have expected that. Right. Let's go and get the speed modules back. And then we'll go... Where have they gone and put them? I've got a few. I've got one there that I'm going to want to get. So I'm going to go over here, and if I... Control-click... Like that, that'll just remove a few of them. Can't control click the furnace, it doesn't steal them back for me. But I've now got 27 of those and 26 of those. That might be enough. Might be. I don't know yet. I need to get up here and we need to start doing a little bit of work. So we're going to go up there and... Train coming! It's fortunate that we were out of the way of the trainer. So we're going to stay here. We're going to be out of the way of that lot. We're not going to worry about it. I'll tell you one thing I am going to do a minute is I'm going to take my deconstruction planner. And no, I'm not going to. The deconstruct, it, it's, it's not going to do anything. So we're not going to do that. I'm simply going to start planning a build here. Now, what do I want to build? First up, engage my robots again. Go up here and remove that. Remove the chunk of forest from here. I'm going to go up higher and I'm going to remove a bigger chunk of forest like that. Get, take the whole lot out like this. That's going to give my robots something to do just for a minute. I got a hundred robots. They're all out and flying. They're gathering up all of that timber. Now they're coming back and they're charging up. It shouldn't take them too long to gather. I tell you what, I'm going to come down here a little bit further. And I'll come within range of those. Some of those, they're able to be picked up. And here come the logistics robots. They're going to come and gather up all of that timber. There, see? Whoosh. Just like that. They've taken the whole lot and gone off with it. And we'll get another line of them come up here because they'll go and get the next round. And then my own robots... Everything is slowed down quite considerably with my own robots because I've run out of... Um, reserve power on there for a minute so it's just whatever the two well folks rome wasn't built in a day and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode we've run out of time so if you've enjoyed the episode then please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later